I am a neurosurgeon by profession. So you said. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll yeah, talk without you. the mic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, see, there are several other systems affected by TB, not only the pulmonary. So, is there any particular system that is not suitable for short course chemotherapy? I know that CNS is not suitable. Is there any other system which is not suitable? Again, we are having problems with the Bone tipo Apart from that, anything else? Skin tipo Skin tipo Skin tipo No, we don't see much cases in the skin. Then you mentioned about multi-drug resistant and the extremely drug resistant. Can you tell us the drugs used for these? Because I, in my practice, commonly come across cases treated for tuberculosis, either pulmonary or elsewhere. Then they come with uh, CNS tuberculosis, complicated multiple infarcts, cytokephalus, mass lesions. And uh, those cases are not suitable for short course, long course, and things like that. So if you can give us an idea. Okay. Definitely, uh, coming to the injections, actually, uh, we have a hierarchy for injections. Streptomycin is the first one. Streptomycin is uh, sensitive, we can use that. Then, among the canamycin and amicacin, there is a cross resistance. So, if there is the resistance to either canamycin or amicacin, then we avoid both the drugs. <coughs> then, canamycin is taken as the highest. Uh, Usually, in practice, what we do when we find the patient has had treatment earlier, with or without streptomycin, and the period of one year or more has passed, we start streptomycin right away. So apart from that, these are the drugs uh, which you give. Yes. Okay. Now, there are sometimes, you know, biopsy is possible in CNS tuberculosis, sometimes it is not possible. Most often the diagnosis is made with a combination of uh, past history, the presentation, ma magnetic resonance imaging, CT and things like that. And uh, the site in which the mass lesion appears, the demographics and things like that. Are these also can be submitted for uh, short course or long course regimen? Uh, usually in CNS, uh, we treat for a minimum period of 9 months and we don't take chances. Sir, uh, I beg to differ. I treat for 18 months. Uh, the minimum, yeah. I got 9 months minimum, sir. I'm not <laughs> differing from you. So what I'm asking eight. is, can these people be sent for government sponsored treatment? Because if they do the treatment outside, they are spending 1.5 lakhs. And many people cannot afford it. So, will the government accept these patients to be treated under their schemes and give the drugs for that? Yes, sir. In the government, uh, we have, sir, after nine months, we can give. And after that, so we still uh, feel the doctors. We have been treated in for one and a half years. So, we have had situations like that. Okay. Now, you also mentioned that the medical officer, if he is sure it is TB, it can be submitted for DOT. Now, does it require a letter or something or a paper from the medical officer who says that this is TB, please treat and it will be accepted right away or does it have to go through some sort of uh, yeah, paperwork? Yeah, we have a sort of window system in our government sectors. Right? Yes. All patients have to be routed through my department. Okay. And if I concur with them, then we treat. So there is no problem. So there I can no send problem. it to you and you will, okay, provided you accept. Yes. Okay, that's all right. So if you have a doubt, we usually call the PGs from the other department. We have a discussion with them and we Right. Streptomycin, you said, is not used as a primary treatment. Why? Because age old, we have been using streptomycin as a primary treatment, we have been very happy with it. So, off late, I know that it is not being used, but is there any particular reason that it is not being used? No, from the program point of view, it is more about cost effectiveness, giving injection in a whole center. Injection. We are not against streptomycin, but... National program injection is not feasible. Yes. One of the reasons yes. has been totally given up. But it has got a role. Especially it has got a role to prevent resistance to other organisms as a stand measure. Definitely it has got a role. Now we want to add on pressure for the multi press with tuberculosis, zero for this. Less than it. Now all the older press have come back in the market. The choosing them is left. Now also having a girl of 13 years who is, uh, she was very spastic when she came to our department. We didn't wait for uh, this median streptomycin So we individualized the patient based on the individual patient and take decisions. Sir, I have a couple of questions for the second speaker. Can I? Sir, even in the last case, first, the first question was, must be one answer. 
I was a primary care physician and then branched off to psychiatry. It's absolutely true. The success rate of a psychiatric patient goes up when the caregiver supervises the medicine. I always tell for two reasons. One is if he's a schizophrenic, he's going to miss the medication. And if he's a depressive, he's going to take the overdose of having suicide. So it is always safe and better if it is supervised by the caregiver. That is why DOTS is popular if you give it supervised by somebody else. Unless otherwise if it is done by somebody else, many of them stop the drugs and come back to us. It's happening as happening in psychiatry. Most of the patients will be with me for 30 years for the same illness. Because they stop if you give the responsibility to them. So it's always better Always this particular example of psychiatric drugs and tuberculosis drugs is the same. Thank you. So when you treat with tissue and the patients have a full body workload, their immunity level is very good. So when you start them on ATP, they have a, uh, the immunity starts improving and they start working some of the new, uh, like the patient has a from this starter on ATP, you may develop some new nodes or they may develop a poor infection. This may be because of the immune restitution. Welcome to the individual case. It's very difficult to speak. Uh, we have seen some cases like this. In fact, nowadays, I don't know. Surgeons agree. 
many cases after surgery they are having some problem actually they are seeing some atypical mycobacterial infection in the wound sites. In recent times I had two cases and we had to start them on the alternate regimens with clathromycin move first. They respond well to street. Where our plate they are having, I don't know that many people agree in this part. Where Kasos is not clearly a method in Sailand. Do you have any questions in the medical system? Do you have any questions in the medical system? Do you have any questions in the medical system? Do you have any questions in the medical system? Sometimes we have one of the things. We have a diabetic lady with a left lower. So the biopsy was given as former cell CA. The AFP was positive and luckily our oncologist refused to touch her because the AFP was positive. They told you to treat people for two months and ask her to come back. At the end of two months, she started responsible, responding and at the end of six months, the nutrition disappeared. We have done several of them. I have given a little bit of biopsies. Every time the biopsy report comes to the table process, and the patient will not have a response to the AD, the AD, the AD, the AD, and the final diagnosis will come as a stress rate to the sex. One form of lymphoma. Because they are all granular medications. Again, lymphoma is a granular medication. Granular is just a total direction of inflammatory cells. It can be due to anything. So, presence of case is something which points more towards liver process. That is the main factor when we take into consideration. If it comes only as grand norm, many times we ask for HPE confirmation. So, we should not take it as a blood basis in case of liver process. We should confirm the diagnosis. Again, in lymphoma liver process, the most likely AFP is very, very rare. There are only two situations in lymphoma liver process where you can have AFP positivity. One is in the HIV patient and other is AFP cell liver process. Otherwise, the mass getting AFP in this town is very, very bad. Is it placed for PCR? PCR? Yes, there is some as a role. But again, the PCR problem is it doesn't tell whether it's an infection or a disease. Unless you correlate it, it's going to be a disease. Some patients who are going to foreign day, aren't there? Certificates. That's why they're out here. I'm going to put it on the other side. Pulmonologists say they want to do the path. You want to do it? Laposcopy. Whether it is your master. I don't think it's ethical. I will not do it. You want to go over both of them? Yeah, I usually is everyone because I think the patient's like you. Usually I certify. Without doing any matter, nothing is necessary. No, what happens is if you now are practicing a lot of places, I can practice in Apollo also. Now, if you end up attending, in every case, you are not Apollo, you are not Apollo, you are not Apollo. Somehow, all our people have placed for Apollo. Apollo doctors, they accept other doctors, they are not accepting. If I route them through Apollo, I accept them. Your question will be answered with the next speaker also. I will serve the question for the next speaker. Any questions? I think now the radiologists have something on the same mask, but it's good. We are laying more on that. Yeah. What's the sensitivity of the gene exposure? There is one more. Mass spectroscopy is there. With that, we can differentiate different le lactate levels, alanine levels, or all is there. One of the conditions that the lactate level peak will be more. So definitely we can able to differentiate these uh, granulomatous lesions. Right actually we have a right hand expert. So we are subjecting them to two tests. One is culture and sensitivity by a conventional method. And other is by a gene expert. So we have just started it for the past three or four months and we are waiting the report. It's in the pilot phase actually. Thank you. Thank you.
things if uh, if at all uh, the national party uh, called uh, RTCT program is going to ask us again to conduct, we are going to be beneficial. <laughs> Whether you give money or not, the knowledge is going to be enriched. Uh, what you share, what you what you give share with. What the audience share with you will not get from so others. They will again connect every year, it's a mandatory. Every year will get first, every year will get first. Definitely next year also, second year also. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, there's a question, and I think everyone has given. Please, who was not given, please give. And for uh, what you call uh, benefit of, benefit of uh, knowledge, I will just say what is the right answer. But uh, the permanent TB suspect is a person with cough of two or more weeks duration with or without any other symptoms. Second question, Ramesh with cough of more than two weeks has sought consultation with you. No other symptoms you will evaluate sputum AFB in only designated microscopy center. The answers were right because uh, Dr. Raman or Rao's <laughs> uh, How many sputum specimen collected for diagnosis and follow-up? Diagnosis and follow-up, two samples, at least one early morning. Ramesh is a sputum positive TB patient diagnosed by you. You will arrange for convenient DOT provider for him and screen with sputum microscopy all household contacts with cough of any duration. Hans Seven has cough for the last one month. Two sputum examinations were done and were negative for AFP. What should be done for her now? Prescribe broad spectrum antibiotic like cortimaxisone for 10 to 14 days and call back if symptoms persist for repeat sputum examination. Management of pediatric TB and her program includes Screen child with their history of loss of weight and or no weight gain. Screen child with the history of contact with the suspected or diagnosed case of active TB case, subject to Mantex test if required. Under the program, new TB patients means it is never consumed or has consumed anti-TB drugs previously for less than one month from government facility. Sorry has never consumed or consumed anti-TB drugs for, for less than a month from any source. Yes. In case of jaundice, the following drugs should be stopped, all anti-TB drugs. MDR TB patient is who is resistant to INH and rifampicin with or without other drugs from an accredited lab. Dili Prabhu, a TB patient who is also HIV positive, you will initiate TB treatment and go to Prophylactic therapy and refer the patient for ART evaluation. 